right, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So today, this is week, week five, I wanna say. This is the week five update for my uh, prep series. Right now, today's check-ins, say Saturday. I do check-ins every Saturday with my coach Tone. I'll just go in and I'll run through my mandatories and then my posing routine and then we'll basically be like, all right, like we're gonna strip away this food, we're gonna take away this food, we're gonna just keep it the same if I'm still losing weight. So we're gonna go ahead and find out if we're getting more food taken away. But um, every morning uh, on Saturday at 10 a.m., it's 9.55 right now, so I'm about to run inside and go strip down and pose real quick here in a second. But um, no, that, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna go inside real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so we just got back from check-ins. So far, we are still leaning out. I lost about three pounds, mostly just like, from what it looks like, my, my waist just tightened up a ton. So um, we're keeping the food the same, thankfully, because like I'm starting to get actually freaking hungry. Like this is my first meal right now. This is the oats in the morning. I have one cup of oats right here. And then I'm gonna go run over to Cars and Coffee with my buddy Dio and Logan. So I'm gonna go check out some cars. I'll go ahead and shoot some cars for you guys and take some videos and show you guys what's up. But honestly, like, I wanna give you guys the most like realistic, like behind the scenes prep that I can. And so far, it's only week five. We're a fourth of the way done. Like this is the end of week five. So I'm giving you a checkup of what the end of week five looks like. And so far, like five weeks into a prep, I'm like, every single second I see food other than my diet, I'm like, holy cow, what is that? Like, what are you eating, dude? Like, I like, I get so excited when I see food, and it's like ridiculous. And like the other day, my buddy mentioned just club crackers, I'm like, holy cow, like I want some freaking club crackers. I'd smash a box right now. I'd smash chicken and biscuit. Like, I'm so down bad for some like carbs. Like some, not like just carbs, I eat carbs already. I'm having oatmeal or rice and potatoes, but like, some crackers and bread and oh my gosh, like I want a Chick-fil-A sandwich, I want a freaking spicy chicken sandwich with bacon and pepper jack cheese and pickles and this milkshake and fries and it's like I dream about it. And it's like freaking, oh my gosh. So it's gonna be so rewarding at the very end of this when I splurge, cause hopefully I'll probably make a video for you guys of me just going freaking crazy, a compilation, that'd be awesome. But 
So far we're leaning out a ton, but I'm not to the point where I want to be just yet because we still have plenty of time to get to that point. But um, I had a freaking dream last night that I that I hit this pose and like I had like these crazy like legs ripple striations and like my my obliques were like crazy and I was like holy cow like why didn't I start my posing routine off with this pose like it looks so crazy and then I woke up <laughs> and I was like oh yeah I don't look that cool but we're getting there so I'm gonna go run over to cars and coffee and I'll show you guys what's up all right <clears throat> never mind about the car meet guys I just pulled up and it was only Dio there instead of uh, uh, him and Logan. And there was literally nothing but a 4GT and a Stingray. And it was cool to film, but like, I didn't want to really like, go around like filming people's cars. And there's only like two cars there and like a couple people. So, heading home right now. I'm gonna go take all my supplements that I still have not taken this morning. Get that done and then, um, I have a second meal to eat at home, the chicken and rice, and then after that, shoot, just figuring out what I'm gonna do before I have to go to work later. Probably go to the lake maybe, I don't know. So we'll figure that out. I have to meal prep probably, but I think everything's cooked, I just gotta put it all in containers. All right guys, so the supplement stack is basically the same as usually the one, um, the one thing I changed, actually like two things that I changed. Everything's the same. I just don't take the glucosamine and chondroitin as much anymore. I take it like every other day. They're just, these pills are freaking huge. And like, if they're like regular pill capsule size, I could probably down like eight to 10 of those and like a fistful at once. But like these, I can't even down one at a time. Like they're like, they scratch your throat all the way down. Like it's just, they're a pain in the freaking butt to take. So it's just like, if I remember to take them, I'll take them. But honestly, I do remember to take them. I just don't want to. Um, I added probiotic, gut support, gut health, just because the egg whites are not making my stomach too happy. And if you are my training partner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But on the other hand, um, uh, instead of that liquid l carnitine I was taking, I found an alternative because I just try to find the best deal because this ain't cheap. Like, like, first of all, you gotta pay for a coach. Second of all, you gotta pay for supplements. Third of all, you gotta pay for groceries all the time. And you gotta pay for the show. And you gotta pay, like there's a lot of money that goes in to bodybuilding. And it's not like, if you're here for the money and you're here for the reward, like you're, you're, you're in the wrong place. Cause this is all about like, it's about the sport really and the love for the sport, not so much like fame and glory and money, so. Um, back to what I was talking about. The carnitine, seven bucks. It was like 75% off at uh, Diamond Shop. So it was probably like originally like 30 or 25. I don't know the math. You guys do the math. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take that later when I'm about to train, probably like 45 minutes prior as long, uh, oh, along with, not as long, along with my thyrogenic because I think it makes me sweat. Like I think this carotene, the other carotene I was taking, the liquid one was not making me sweat, but this one heats me up. Like I start getting really hot and I start sweating out of nowhere. And like it happened to me the past few days I've been taking this. So I'm like, maybe I should save this for training. So save that for later. I'm gonna take all my supplements here in like two seconds, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys my second meal here in one second. One cup. Five ounces chicken, one cup of rice. This is what I eat every day. I'm eating chicken and rice every day for kind of like brunch or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, before that, I had the oats. And then after chicken and rice, I have my, um, what, three, four other meals throughout the day. But nothing exciting, guys. Like, no, nothing a part of this is like, Oh my gosh, like this is so easy, this is so awesome. Like I really wanna do this. Like you have to really, really, really like love the sport and love what you do to get into this because this isn't something you just do for fun and you're like, yeah, why not, it'll be easy. Like a lot of people like dive into this being like, oh, he could do it, I could do it. Like, no, that's not how it is. Like he, he freaking grinds his freaking grinds in the gym 
works his butt off outside of the gym doing meal preps and cooking and shopping. So like, it's not really like as easy as going to the gym every day and being like, oh, I could lose weight. No, it's about looking as freaky as possible on stage. And to get that freaky, you gotta eat the boring, healthy food. So I'm gonna down this. The best tip I could give you guys is salt and hot sauce is your best friend and vegetables, adding in like onions and stuff. So I'm gonna go train arms here in a little bit. I'm probably gonna take a stimulant today or not. I don't know yet, but I'm feeling like I should. So just so I can have a crazy arm pump. So I'll catch you guys when I'm at the gym, whenever that is. I'll probably play Fortnite until then because I've been tanning every day this week and today's Saturday. And I don't really want to run into a huge crowd at the lake because I freaking hate crowds. So, yeah. All right, guys, so we are like four-ish, no, like three-ish hours into work. I finished my third meal, which was the 10 ounce of potatoes and five ounce turkey and bunch of greens. So I finished that a while ago, just down like three rice cakes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my little um, supplement stack for my pre-workout. So I have the Convict 2.0 that I'm gonna take, as well as the Thyrogenics and the Carnitine, because today I'm not gonna make the mistake of taking the Carnitine early in the morning so then I sweat my freaking balls off all day. I'm gonna take it before the workout with the thyrogenics, so we'll probably be sweating like a freaking pig, but hopefully will lead to a lot of lost fat and some gains. So we're gonna down this in like five minutes, and then I'm gonna try out a couple of different newer workouts, do a new superset that I don't usually do for biceps, so you guys wanna stay tuned and check that out here in a bit. I was watching a uh, Mike Van Wick video on his arm day, not his arm day, but like some tips and tricks for triceps and biceps, so. I'm gonna somewhat imply that into my video for today because Saturday's freaking slow and I have spare time to watch YouTube, so. We're gonna go ahead and down this and I'll catch you guys here in a second. So, make sure I'm in frame. The goal of these first sets, and the goal of all the sets in general is to create length. So, whether that's seated isolated curls where you stretch your neck to the opposite side and then sinking shoulder down, or you're just keeping your head neutral, but every single time you're curling, you're tilting your body to where your shoulders, like, not so stiff and up here. Do you wanna be up here curling? You want to be loose and be using all bicep and pull through. So, quick tip for biceps, pick that one up from Mike Van Wick. But we are going to do a second set, second straight set, and then what I like to do, because this is what usually I do for my bicep warm up, is two straight sets, decent weight, 10 to 12 reps till failure, then as heavy as I can for the six to eight reps, and then triple drop or quad drop depending how freaky I'm feeling. So let's see the second set going. So a couple of tips and tricks on how to make your bicep pump even more glorious than it already is, or 
to help build your biceps even more, or if you need something more intense, just try throwing in like, at the very end of your set, switch to hammers, because first of all, for some reason, I'm not gonna explain the science, being here, having a supinated grip when you're curling is a lot harder than when you're neutral and the weight's stacked on top of each other. Now, switch it to that neutral grip and do hammers, do partials, and then I just did a freaking static hold right there. And I'm gonna clip this on real quick so I can show you guys. It blew up this entire part portion of my forearm all up here, this little upper part, just holding this and sticking right here. Or if you're leaning over and doing hammer curls right here, that's gonna blow up that whole portion right there. So work out multiple muscles at once if you can and crank up the intensity if you need to. All right, now for my drop set. No shame. Something that a lot of people need to start realizing is that like in order to grow, in order, in order for your muscles to become bigger, to actually reach hypertrophy, you need to start dropping your weight and start focusing on the quality of rep, the volume that you're doing is just key to everything. Like, I used to be able to probably curl 40, 45 pounds for 10 to 12 reps, eight to nine on like a bad day. But here's the thing is that like my form is terrible. And for my drop set, I usually try to add like 10 to 15 pounds on top of whatever my top sets are for my warm up, so then I can reach that six to eight rep range. I just do the 40s for six reps, but quality six reps instead of crappy uh, curls. Now, I did six reps, then dropped another 10 pounds, 30s for four reps, barely four, then a crap ton at 20. So, one thing a lot of people don't really realize is that like, you don't need to impress anyone, you're not trying to impress anyone. At the end of the day, when you're at the beach or the lake or whatever the hell you're gonna be at, taking off your shirt, there's not gonna be a freaking pound, like, it's not gonna be a set of dumbbells just laying around being like, oh look, I can curl the 55s. Like, I'm working out by myself, I'm impressing myself. Like, that's a, I'm not trying to impress myself, that's a thing. It's like, this isn't for, to show off. It's like, it's just to grow. And that's like the whole goal that everyone has. They just can't wrap their minds around the heavy weight, but just quick tip for you guys. I skipped this drop set and didn't film it because I don't want to make you guys watch me curl for like five minutes straight. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to these Mike Van Wick inspired cable curls.
one good tip that Tone showed me a while back is, excuse me, when you're curling, you gotta learn. Oh my gosh, I like something in my, stuck in my throat. You gotta learn to break wrists, because when you break wrists, it puts a lot more tension on your bicep. Like just, just try picking a dumbbell and coming from down here. I'll stand up so you guys can see. Break wrists and curl up with your palm out, just like this, versus when you're curling in, even just like, just going like this, I can feel a difference, but you guys just have to experience it. But on these, all these cable moves too, like I haven't had such a successful arm day in a minute where it's like, my biceps are so blown up right now and so fried that I'm struggling with 20, and 10, 20 pounds and 10 pounds. Like right here, my first set, 20 pounds. And I barely could get the last couple of reps in, so just start implementing those two little tips I showed you guys from Mike Van Wick and Tone, my coach. Shoulders, you want your shoulders to break free. You don't want them to be free whenever you're curling. You don't want to be up here. You want to break free and then break wrists, curl up. So let shoulders relax. Like when I'm here, I let shoulders come out in front of me and they're extended. I'm not here in tight because now I'm using my body to curl. But when I'm extended and my shoulders are stretched out, they're on my body just like this, all bicep. So if you guys really want to learn how to grow your arms, especially if you guys are like, here's one thing, like you guys are mostly probably picking up tips from like Instagram influencers, TikTok influencers, freaking YouTube influencers, whatever you want to call them, that are on steroids, that are doing the typical curl that everyone sees. And obviously it freaking works because like, they're enhanced, they're on juice. So you can freaking, all you gotta do is stare at the weight and you'll get big. Like this, this is more better proof than anything anyone could show you. Because first of all, like it's just, all I take is creatine. Like that's the only like sort of enhancement, I guess you could call it is creatine. Everything else I take is just to help support like recovery and just general health. So, and fat burning, so. Hopefully you guys can pick up on some of those tips. I'm gonna do another set, maybe a drop set. I don't even think I could do a drop set because my weight is too light right now. So I'm gonna do another set and then go to triceps. So I 100% already did like, I overestimated first of all, what I do? I did 40 pounds on the tricep extension. Now to me, no, 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 I underestimated, not overestimated. I underestimated. Underestimating is always better than overestimating. Cause you overestimate, you get like eight reps in. Uh, I, I rather, I rather freaking underestimate myself. Cause first of all, makes me feel stronger be like oh I could do more reps but I also get to the 10 to 12 range then fail at like probably more like 15 16 reps so I think that's a lot more optimal in my opinion than just doing the six to eight reps of weight that you shouldn't have been done in the first place All right, and for you guys who are regular viewers, you already know what I'm about to do. For you those who are irregular, this is by far my favorite tricep finisher that I do because I could take 10 pounds and make it freaking pretty hard. Now, we're gonna do 10 kickbacks, 10 
crossbody with like this 45 degree angle and then that's going to be the long version of the tricep extension now and then we're going to do a short version where we're going around the neck and then just kicking straight out and those three movements are going to work the entire tricep and all you need is like 10 pounds especially if you're at the end of your workout what's up george how's it going dude Holy freaking cow. All I know is that there is so much blood and not only my arms, but my forearms right now. It is absolutely freaking insane. I like, you know you had a successful arm day when like, well, this isn't very relatable to most of you guys because you don't film in the gym, but when you barely can pick up your camera and like move it over here, maybe you barely pick up your shirt and your water, your water bottle, but holy cow. I know I'm gonna be laying in bed later tonight. Just, it's happened to me multiple times where I'm just like in bed and I'm like, oh, I get my entire, both my arms just ache and I'm like, oh yeah, this was freaking successful. So, to you guys who saw posing from this morning, let's see the difference on a week five. I still don't, I'm not sure if it's week five, but on this update for week five, let's see the difference. Cool. Of course, everything looks bigger when I got my stringer on. Let's see. Oh my God. We're down three pounds right now from last week. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier today. down here my chest the striations is starting to actually come in pretty well and everything's tightened up very very well my abs are starting to look freaking crazy so so far like holy cow I'm so excited to see my abs it's been so long but shoot everything's tightened up like crazy my backs the Christmas trees are just some starting to come in again look a lot wider, a lot thicker. Totally forgot what I was gonna tell you guys, but shoot, that was the end of the arm day. And that was the end of the week five check-in video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you picked up on some great tips to freaking grow those biceps for you guys, isn't those triceps? And those forearms especially, that is the craziest form workout is the rollers, so failure. And then max out on those, the the grip strengtheners, the grip trainers, and just squeeze and hold for as long as you can, and then two 25 plates and just stand there and hold. But always remember to keep God first, others above yourself, and stay uncomfortable, do things you don't want to do, because at the end of the day, 
I say this in every single freaking video. If you guys are regulars, I would never be doing this myself, but I found a passion that I enjoyed, that I loved. And I'm gonna share it with you guys and show you guys my journey and show you guys like that like people don't understand that people who they look up to influencers like famous bodybuilders don't just aren't just born famous like you have to create a legacy and that's what I'm doing here to show you guys it's like my transformation from being 106 pounds to pro bodybuilder and by the end of this year so hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe comment till next time this was arm day